Hi everyone, in this video I'm telling you what the effect of shutter speed has on flash photography. I'm shooting indoors just now and I've only got the natural, not the natural, but the horrible lights which are in here just now to light the room. If I were to take a photo at a normal speed, let's say a 60th of a second, uh, if we look at the top of the camera, the camera is telling me it wants to shoot at f2.8 and a 6th of a second, and if it takes a photo like that, that will give you a roughly correct exposure for uh, this room. However, if we're wanting to use flash, whenever we pop that up, instantly it becomes a 60th of a second. So let's play around in manual mode. And we can change the shutter speed as much as we want. What I've done is in manual mode, I've changed it so it's at f11. So as you can see here, this is the exposure meter here. And it's way off down to the right, saying that it's totally underexposed. If we were to take a photo of that just now, as you can see, it there's nothing coming up, it's totally dark. We would have to take the photo all the way down to... So we're at half a second there, one second, a two second, and now a three second. That's going to be the correct length of exposure for the size of the aperture being f11. And there it's come out pretty much the right brightness. However, the white balance isn't correct. So, if we're using flash up there, you've got to remember flash is very, very quick. A flash from a speed light will be maybe a one two thousandth of a second, maybe a three thousandth, or if you are bringing the power down to a, a sixteenth of a power or an, uh, a thirty tooth of a power, then it's using it, the flash is coming out very, very, very quickly. Maybe a hundred thousandth of a second. It's very difficult to tell you how, how quick it is, but it's faster than your shutter speed. And in this place, what you can do is you can have a long shutter speed or a short shutter speed, but it will make no effect because it's always going to be fairly underexposed unless you're doing it for three seconds. But if you're doing like a portrait, you'd usually have it anywhere between 60 and the maximum sync speed, which is 250. So, if I take a photo of myself just now, so here's a shot of me just now at 250th of a second. The power on the flash, I've set it so it's at uh, a quarter power. Okay, and as you see, that's how the photo comes out. It's uh, fairly well exposed. And normally, if you're doing any sort of normal photography, if you slow the shutter speed, then it should become more exposed. But because the aperture and the overall brightness in here is so low, that slowing the shutter speed, unless you're doing it to a stupidly slow speed, will have no effect. So let's say we take it down all the way to 30th of a second. Same photo this time. Okay, and as you can see, there's absolutely no difference in the actual exposure that you're getting whatsoever. So changing it from a 250th all the way to a 30th of a second has had no effect on the flash exposure. Even, let's take it even slower, so we're doing it at half a second. Let's see what this looks like. So you could hear the shutter was open for a lot longer there. But still, it's pretty dark in here, and all you're getting now is a little bit more of the orange from the lights in the room, from there and there. But overall, exposure really hasn't changed that much. Okay, so hope that kind of explains. If you are shooting with flash photography, the shutter speed doesn't matter. If you've got special fancy flashes, like the Nikon uh, speed lights, you can go faster than the sync speed, but then that takes out a lot of power from the flash. So just normal studio photography, for example, doesn't really matter what you do with the shutter speed because the shutter speed doesn't have any effect on the flash exposure. Shutter speed is used to control the ambient light, which is these lights here, the tungsten lights or the incandescent lights that they might uh, use to call it this type of lighting. And it's mainly the aperture that is used to control the flash or the amount of flash light that comes back into the camera. So I hope that helps. If you've got any questions, put them down below and I'll try and explain it in the next video. Cheers, bye bye.